Hey, welcome back to the channel. As many of you know, and if you've been following me for a while, a lot of my videos have to do with my off-grid solar shed. But my channel also features web technology and life stories, and so in this video, uh, I'm going to address a question that's been asked of me quite a bit, actually during uh, the quarantine and the stay-at-home orders, and it is, how do I use my iPhone as a webcam when I'm doing Zoom calls or Hangout calls or Skype calls? And actually, I've found three ways of doing this. Uh, two of them are free, and two of them actually are paid. One is in the middle where it has a free version and a paid version. So three options, two, two free, two paid, depending upon the route that you go. So this video, I'm going to attempt to show you guys how to do this. And instead of going out and buying a $100, $200, $150 webcam, if you can even find one right now, you have an amazing camera right on your phone. And so why not use that as your webcam as you're doing your virtual meetings? And so without further ado, let's dive right in. Welcome to the channel where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. If these are interesting topics to you, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we have new videos. So again, thanks for joining us, and we hope that you enjoy the video. Okay, before we really get started, there's a couple things that we need to be aware of and how your computer is going to recognize a camera as you're using the software for doing your conferences. So we have the hardware or the built-in camera that you would see for your FaceTime camera if you're on a Mac or the camera that you would have on the screen if you're on a PC. That is hardware that is going to be built in to the computer. Then we have accessories like a webcam where you actually plug it in with a USB cable and that maybe sits on top of your monitor and it's an accessory to the laptop. Then the third one which is very important for this video to understand is there is a virtual camera meaning it's using software to actually make your computer think that there is a camera either installed as hardware or connected as an accessory. So when we dive in, some of these things are going to require the hardware and some of these are going to actually be require the plugins or the drivers, uh, depending upon which operating system that you're going to be looking at. In our example, everything here is done on the Mac and so these are virtual cameras installed as drivers. So the first one I want to point your attention to is CamTwist. Now CamTwist is free to download and when you come here you'll visit their download page here and you're gonna go ahead and download this. Now CamTwist is for the Mac only and so most of this video is going to be Mac only as there's a lot of tools for the PCs. This has been a very hard task, so to speak, to get your iPhone to ironically work with your Mac as a webcam. It's important to realize that CamTwist is software that you install in your computer as well as a virtual driver for a Mac. Okay, so before we dive into CamTwist, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up another piece of software on my iPhone so that I can use the camera on the iPhone and bring it into the Mac using the built-in QuickTime video editor that's part of the operating system. Now the reason why I'm doing this is this third-party camera software, and I'll have a link to it down below, it doesn't have any user interface, so it's just, it's just the video of the camera. I'm going to pause for a second and get that application up and running on the iPhone so that we can bring it into QuickTime, open CamTwist, and then that will show us how this works for uh, Zoom, so bear with me. Okay, I have the camera app open and running on the iPhone. So now let's just go to QuickTime here on the Mac and we're going to hit File, New Movie Recording. And I am going to make sure that my preference here is my phone. As you can see, there are other options there to bring in. And so now I am seeing exactly what's on my phone on the computer screen. So now it's important to go ahead and open up CamTwist. Now CamTwist is going to make a virtual camera and since I have the phone brain brought in 
By QuickTime to the desktop, I'm just going to use my video source as the desktop. I'm going to hit select and what I want to do then is confine to the application window of just QuickTime. Okay. Now what this is going to do is this is going to create a quote unquote camera view of only the QuickTime screen that I have on the desktop. So when I come over here and now let's go ahead and launch Zoom. And let's start a meeting here with Zoom. And let's make sure our video source is Cam Twist. It sure is. Let's go ahead and hit start the video. And now you can see here that I am running a video and a Zoom meeting and I'm using the camera on my iPhone. And so that's the first method, totally free. Uh, Cam Twist is a bit of older software, so no telling how long it's going to be around, but that is option number one. Okay, the next option is actually my favorite of the three options, and this is software by a company called Canoni. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Canoni, uh, they make an application called Epoch Cam. This is where this software comes into having a free version as well as a paid version. And you can download this right from the App Store. This version here is free. Then the other version that we have is um, $7.99. And so you're gonna spend eight bucks to buy some software that actually allows you to do this without spending $100 or more on a webcam. So I've launched the app on the phone and I've got the driver installed on the computer. So all I'm going to do with this one, and again, much, much easier than the previous version, and this is also free like Cam Twist was, but let's go ahead and start another meeting here. And let's change the video source to Epoch Cam, and let's go ahead and there you go. Just that simple, right? So I'm running this, uh, this web meeting here, this Zoom meeting, right off of my phone's camera right into Zoom. I can function Zoom exactly like I want. Now the nice thing about this application is that I can do this either wireless or directly through the USB cable. So let's go ahead and quit that. Again, this is gonna be my recommendation for you. It's the easiest. The free version doesn't give you as many options as far as the quality and some of the other features of the application. I think it's only 640 by 480, so your screen resolution is not going to be that good. So let's dive right in and let's look at the next option here, which is Ecamm. Now Ecamm is a subscription-based software that you install on your computer. So let's go ahead and open up Ecamm. And this is going to give you an interface that's pretty in depth. I'm not going to go into the tutorial about this, but as you can see right here, I'm using the free trial version so that we can see this. This is pulling in this video that you're seeing right here directly from my iPhone. Now, what I can do is I can come over here and I can create a virtual camera. Okay. So, Right over here, virtual camera. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And so just like we did with Cam Twist and just like we did with Epoch um, Cam, we're going to go ahead and go and launch Zoom now. And let's start another Zoom meeting. And in our video source, we are going to choose Ecamm Live Virtual Cam. And let's go ahead and start that and it functions just the same as the other one. Now, where this one really comes into play is if we come over here to the actual application that we're running, I can integrate a bunch of different things. I can bring in a, uh, an image. I can do different, like right there, that's my FaceTime cam, and then there's the, the phone. If I had other camera sources, I could add them here. I could bring a graphic in. So if I wanted to paste in a graphic here, I could just simply find an image and, you know, let's see. I don't even know if there's an image around here somewhere where I can find an image here real quick. Nope, I don't even think I have an image 
image. So, anyway, so you could bring an image and you could put it right in here. Say you're doing a presentation, you can have it on this two thirds of the screen. So there's a lot of different options with Ecamm Live. It is uh, $12 or $20 a month, depending upon if you uh, want to do a an annual commitment or a monthly commitment. But very good software. Again, I think for the eight bucks. I think our best option, if we come back over here to the browser, for $8, I think that you should do the Epoch Cam web camera for your computer. So hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I know there's a lot of information here and I'm jumbling back and forth. I've got two cameras going, I've got a computer, I've got a bunch of software running. The important thing to think about is, yes, you can do this. You can use your iPhone as your webcam and do it right through Zoom, through Skype, through Hangouts. And uh, during these times that we're going through where things are more virtual, great options for you just using existing equipment that you've already got. Maybe you can do it for free. Maybe you can do it for just eight bucks. But anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.